What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Gmaya's World. And what we're going to be doing right now is discussing the importance of doing the uh, the weekly replay objectives to get your loyalty badges. That's going to be used later on to get a 99 overall player. All right. So look, a lot of you guys have been asking me like, what what are the purpose of the loyalty badges? I'm new to Madden. What's happening? All right. Look, pretty much with the way that they're doing it now, it's it's all about letting us having to. We, they want us to play the game more. Okay. So because they want us to play the game more, they're making it so. Last year was the same thing. You had to do objectives, but now they're giving you more incentives, okay? So now when you look at this, you're going to get a player towards um, whatever this weekly NFL rewards thing is, and in addition, you get a loyalty voucher. Now, what's going to happen is the amount of loyalty tokens that you gain over time is going to go into a set that's going to give you one of like, I think last year they had like, how many, maybe like five players. I know Grunk was one of the loyalty players. I don't remember all of them, but they were 99 overall players. So the only difference this year is that they have a different promo. So the NFL replay, uh, replay players uh, that are in these upgrade sets right here, they're giving you more incentive to get involved, to, to play the game more. Because as you start to lose the luster of wanting to play for whatever reason, they want to entice you to keep playing. Okay? So when you look at this right here, right? Like week two, you got uh, Von Miller and you have the offensive hero Aaron Rodgers, right? So pretty much right now, I just got a card that goes towards that. So that's this guy right here. So if I wanted to complete, um, you know, Aaron Rodgers, I can use the card that I get from doing the objectives. And in addition, they give me a loyalty badge. Now, I don't think that they have the loyalty badge set up yet. I don't see it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that once they put it out, they'll, they will announce it. But uh, as, of, as of this time right now, there are no, um, there's no information on where the players are. Like, for instance, you see these loyalty things here? These loyalty things here that you got, these were from getting loyalty badges for Madden 17 coming over into uh, Madden 18. But in the actual game, they also gave you a player. So they keep track of all the loyalty vouchers and everything that you do get, and they give you something for both games. So you're going to get something from this game, and then it's going to be something that will transfer in to Madden 19, which is why I recommend to a lot of you guys and girls to continue to grind and make sure you do as many solos and everything as possible because that's usually how you benefit early on in the game. It's always ways to benefit by getting packs, but this is just one of the other ways to be able to get like a jump start with your Mutt team when it first starts off, okay? Like doing these things for loyalty badges. They're going to have the rookie premiere stuff coming after the draft. Things like that that you can get players or ready to start your year off, that's going to help already get your team to the next level. So now that we now that we you know we understand what the loyalty badges are about, we're going to take a more in-depth look to, into this NFL replay thing. Now, the the week 2 replay guys are like I just said, Von Miller and Aaron Rodgers, okay? So because we got an offensive player out of the set, we can look. This is how you pretty much make coins in this game. You see like how I got that? <clears throat> Excuse me. How I got that card, right? I don't know what his value is, but I can go through all of this and see what people are spending to see, you know, what the price range of Aaron Rodgers will be. Right there, it's like 300 and something. Randall Cobb, one of these cards are going to be excessively expensive. If not, Aaron Rodgers' price should have already dropped. You see what I'm saying? Because if you look at it, it's like 150. Okay, so that's about 450. So his price, I'm going to guess, is going to be around 450K, well, 500K the most. Because if you look at the players that are available, and what their cost, you know, what their cost is. He was a lot higher yesterday. I saw him sell him for like 800k, and I'm like, why are people spending money for Aaron Rodgers? And you know, the gunslinger cam really doesn't work. Like when you go for a bullet pass, the dude is just straight outright lobbing it, and it doesn't matter, bro. And that's just something that these are mechanics that, uh, you know, whether it's the patch or whatever, because when the game was first released, none of these things were going on. But as you will, you know, as you get more and more into mutt, and if you're new to the game. The reason that I have a lot of frustration with the game is simply because they've changed things so, for for the worse. They've they've done things like, you know, oh yeah, when you when you do this chem, the guy will never catch the ball. They create footsteps chem, but they don't really need to have footsteps chem because you can't catch the ball anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like they they just started doing things that are wild. And you know, there's a lot of people that were upset about you know the injury cards that used to be around. Like you know, your players would get injured in mutt you know, way back, you know what I'm saying? And they changed up a lot of that stuff, probably just to make it a little bit easier to make more money. 
you know, you don't want, you know, your star player getting hurt and then you have to pay for um, a certain type of badge or whatever like that to be able to get it done. So, uh, he's at 775. All right, so, uh, what, really? Why is he all the way, he's at 770, really? That that must be, hold on, let's, see, let, let's go do the math real quick. Because if he's at, if we could even get 700 for him, let's see if that even makes sense while I'm talking to you about um, this whole situation with the actual uh, Mutt cards and things like that. When when you when you look at overall what Mutt has become, it's not really exciting for people that's been playing it for a very very long time. Just like anything else, so that's 140. All right, because it's 136. We'll just say 140. All right, what is this guy? Okay, so that's uh, 140. That's 360. Okay, so 360 plus. Why is this guy so expensive right here? This guy sucks. 360. So that's like four. Uh, 360. That's 430 something. So that's 434 maybe. Okay, 434 plus, what's this guy? Because what, what is going on right now? 434, and then that's going to be like 570. So let's just say 580. Yeah, it's, it's already about 600. So do, will we do this? What would he do? 50, 580. All right, so it's already over, okay, 580. Okay, so that's like 610. So you could probably make a little bit off of it, but is it worth it? I, I don't really want to. I don't really want to waste time. Like, what was that? 610. So that's 636. So yeah, it's a, it's around it's around the same thing. You could probably make like 50K. I'm not even going to waste my time doing that. Because, I, yo, listen, man. I don't grind out to just be sitting around and, um, you know, making like 30K, you know, a, a, a actual hustle. Like when I'm trying to flip something. Like 30K don't really mean nothing to me. So I might as well sell this idiot that I, that I just pulled and uh, see what I get for him. Because if it's not something that's really, really wild... What do you, oh, that's a loyalty voucher. I'm like, yo, what? What do you mean I can't do nothing with that? I was on the wrong thing. All right, so he's at 30. What, probably 20-something. Yeah, 28. All right, so we'll put him up. We'll, we just got 25K. And then we have our loyalty badge. That should be the second one. And then as we go forward, you'll be able to get a little bit more information about, you know, what, other pl what, what players they're going to be giving you and stuff like that. But the thing about it is if you miss out on the loyalty badges, you're not going to be able to get them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's sort of like everything else that goes on. When people are like, "Yo, bro, I missed this promo. I missed that." It doesn't matter that you got the game later. EA is not concerned about that. EA does it based on a time schedule basis. So that's pretty much what the issue is. A lot of you guys that missed out on the zero chill uniforms, and you're not gonna get the plus one and all that stuff uh, from you know the players that are zero chill. You can't you can't go back for that. And I know, I know it seems like it's probably unfair. Like a lot of you guys, yeah, bro, but I get the game late. You're from other countries. Shout out to all the other countries that watch my videos. We're all over the place with G Myers World. But if we, if they allow that to happen, you know, people will be able to take their sweet time to be able to do certain things and they have to make it so that it's more of a, um, you know, like a rush issue for the time, for the time being. Because when you look at it, the only reason that these guys like Bo Jackson, uh, Michael Vick, out of position, you know, Mike Singletary, these guys, the only reason that they're so beneficial, you know, Okoye, all these out of position dudes is because simply the zero chill uniforms. And a lot of you guys weren't able to complete these solos for it. So you guys are like, yo, why are guys still running around, you know, with, you know, with these players from out of position? Because that promo was sick. That promo was really, really sick. And obviously now you should know that you don't have to have the actual zero chill uniforms on to get the chem. You know, you use team visuals and you'll come out with whatever jerseys you have on. But these are the things that I'm, I, I want to stress to you guys for an example of these loyalty badges. You don't want to miss out on it. So like I said, it's annoying me and killing me slowly to, you know, to grind out to get my level to 50. You can see I'm at a 42 right now and I'm trying to get to, uh, you know, the 43 or whatever like that. But it does kill you a little bit inside because the gameplay is outright ridiculous. But the mud content has been consistent. All right. Um, it's just that a lot of you guys that are grinding and saying, yeah, I never get any coins. I never do this and all that kind of stuff like that. You guys haven't even, you know, put your foot to the metal yet, bro, to understand that it's a lot of grinders out there like myself that have already, you know, I, I got seven more to have 1400 solos done. Now, if you go into the solo menu, I don't even think right now you can add it up to have 1400 because they delete certain things after it's over. You see what I'm saying? So you're not going to have those solos. So it, it is a time-pressing issue. So I will urge you guys to make sure that you're taking advantage of doing the objectives for the loyalty vouchers because they're free 99 cards. And a lot of you guys that get the game late, you play it all the way throughout, even when the other Madden drops in August of 2018. 
a lot of you guys will still be playing uh, Madden 18. You know, God bless you, and I hope that you survive the situation, but that's what's going on. That's what they're doing, okay? It's all time-related. It's time-based. And then they're doing this now with the NFL replays to keep you guys and myself playing, even though we know that when we go into a game, we're going to run into some idiot that's going to be running something that he saw on a stream that's going to make us want to just, you know, fly directly to Antarctica with no, you know, no stops, just straight red eye, bro, going in there, get there at 5 a.m. and just line up baby seals and start kicking them, bro. This game makes you very, very upset, okay, as far as gameplay. But I want you guys to be able to experience what it's like to have the better cards. And these are some of the things that you have to do in order to get that. So that's the information I wanted to share with you about the importance of the loyalty badges. We don't know what players are coming, but it's better to have the cards right now than not to have the cards. You know what I'm saying? Just I mean, the collectibles. So you're going to want to have these, um, these loyalty collectibles. And as of the date that this video is released, you should have already have two weeks in. So it should be two loyalty collectibles you should actually have right now. So let me just check over. Yeah, so you should have two. Because they've had it going on for two weeks right now. What is this? I don't. I don't need. A, I don't need this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Let me. Let me go ahead and sell that. I don't, I don't need to know that that's going to be happening. All right. So that's pretty much where we are right now with it. And uh, you know, you guys can leave any questions that you have about you know what's going forward. What are the possibilities of the players? But I gave you an example. I just remember Grunk being really, really good last year. Now he sucks. I'm about to put that 96 overall into an elite token set. He's terrible. The team of the year, but it is what it is. Go out, make sure you get these objectives done as bad as it may be. Get it done. It'll benefit you later on in the year. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.